Hello again, Kingston Town Administrator Keith Hickey with the latest edition of This Week in Kingston for the week ending uh, February 23rd, 2024. Uh, a lot of things continuing to happen in town. If people are interested in, in being on a board or commission in town, uh, right now you can stop by and, uh, and pick up uh, nomination papers at the town clerk's office. We have uh, a number of uh, elected officials whose terms are expiring. And we'd love to have you come in and, and pick up some nomination papers, uh, submit submit those back to the town clerk uh, and be on the ballot for uh, a number of different positions. If you're interested, if you want to go to our town website, uh, there's a list of uh, approximately 10 different uh, boards of commissions that currently uh, will have are, are open for uh, to, to, for people to run uh, either against an incumbent or it could be an open seat. So we'd love to have you sign up and and put your name in and help us uh, help business move forward with the town of Kingston. Uh, those positions are critical for our success, and we'd love to have you participate if, you, if you're interested in doing so. Sure. A couple of things to make people aware of. Again, dog licenses. You can pick up your dog license at the clerk's office now. You can do it online or at the clerk's office. So, uh, again, take a look at our website. The front page of our website is a link that, that allows you to um, license your dog remotely if you'd like to do that. Our annual town elections this year will be on uh, uh, Saturday, May May eighteenth. A little bit later than usual, but we're trying to we, we try to make a change um, in the bylaws uh, that were passed this year uh, to have town meeting uh, first and then the election second. So the sitting board of selectmen, the sitting FinCom, can vote on or participate in town meeting as a, a member who helped develop that budget. Uh, the annual town meeting will be on Saturday, May 4th. So mark your calendar. So two very exciting days. Uh, we hope that you can uh, come in and participate with us. Uh, uh, the FinCom is still reviewing the budgets. Uh, they may have met with the police and fire department this past week. Uh, they'll meeting more again next week with uh, other some of the other smaller departments uh, and hoping to uh, get that wrapped up sometime in the fairly near future. Um, the Board of Selectmen has uh, a fairly light agenda for next week. Uh, they'll be asked to um, to approve to post a warrant, which is just a housekeeping type thing. Um, uh, Chief Fire Chief Mark Douglas um, will be in and update the board on what's happening in the in the Kingston Fire Department um, and some of the uh, successes and challenges that they're facing right now. Um, he's the, the police and fire chief will be coming in on a, uh, quarterly basis, hopefully to update the board on what's going on in the departments. Uh, the, just to let people know the, the police chief search is, is, um, winding down. The board made a, a conditional offer, uh, that was accepted by the, uh, the current Stoughton, uh, deputy police chief. Uh, he is, uh, having the background check and all the background work done, um, before uh, coming to work here, we're hoping that uh, that uh, uh, soon to be Chief Holmes uh, is in town and um, and uh, a, the chief of the Kingston Police Department sometime between the first and fifteenth of April. In the meantime, uh, longtime Lieutenant Tom Kelly has been uh, generously willing to step up and uh, and serve as the interim police chief uh, until Chief Holmes uh, arrives. Um, We've got a one-day liquor license uh, to approve or consider. Um, and really, that's just about it. Um, there's an appointment to the 300th, anniversary, the 300th anniversary, uh, committee, but, uh, uh, should be hopefully a fairly short meeting. Um, we've had a couple of tough meetings lately with, uh, some dog complaints and, and working through those. Uh, hopefully we are, uh, moving forward with those. The, the dog complaint, uh, where the board of selectmen voted last week to have the dog humanely euthanized has appealed that decision. Uh, so we're working with the owner of the dog, uh, legal counsel to, uh, to get a date with the court, uh, as soon as we possibly can, uh, so they can, uh, make a decision on whether or not the, the board of selectmen, uh, had uh, made it made an appropriate decision with uh, with with the decision they made to euthanize the dog uh, or not. So we're we're working on that. Uh, it's an ongoing issue. Obviously, it's it's a concern and it's a sad 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 time for the owners of the dog. We understand that, but uh, we we also have to address the the safety of the of the community. So um, 
hopefully that'll be squared away sometime in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll move forward with whatever the court decides. So, uh, so again, with that a lot going on in town, please uh, try to get involved if you'd like. Um, if you have any questions on, on uh, the positions that are open uh, and will be on the, the ballot for uh, elections, please let me know. I'll be happy to try to answer any questions you have. Uh, if you have any questions on the budget, same, same with that as well. So, uh, a lot happening. Uh, stay tuned on PAC TV or, or keep an eye on the, the town website um, for items of interest to you. And, and if you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. So with that, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great week. and We'll talk to you again next week.